Hey, once again, my friends, welcome to my living room. Ah, this is my favorite beer, by the way. It's called ABWC, which stands for Any Beer Wet and Cold. Ah, so, as you can see, I've been changing things a little bit purging some stuff, making room for some new stuff. Uh, man, the last uh, few weeks, a lot of stuff. But anyway, uh, let's get right to it. A couple of dollar buys here. Okay. I found this one the other day. The cover on it is Beat. This is Freak Out. Great new guitar sounds. And the record's not bad for a buck. I mean, you know, I cleaned the cover up the best I could. But after cleaning the record, hell, it plays great. Sounds good. It's got a few little dings in it. Here's a few I got some time back, but I just paid a buck for these. I couldn't pass these up. Now, these are absolutely beat. Okay. <laughs> they have a hard time playing. But for a buck a piece... These are original chess. Let me show you the, the record here in the label. High Fidelity Chess. I don't know if you can see. The records look pretty big. But they play. <laughs> I wouldn't want to pass that up for a buck. <laughs> All righty. Moving right along. Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. That's, that's one of my dollar buys. Here's a couple of uh, recent uh, reissues that I bought. Uh, Easter Everywhere by the 13th Floor Elevators. I knew there's no way in hell I would ever find in a decent price an original. So I got one of these uh, new reissues, and it sounds just fine. And here's another one I was glad to get. Uh, Eric Dolphy, Out to Lunch. A Blue Note reissue. Uh, commemorating, I guess, the 75th anniversary of, of Blue Note Records. Love this. Love this. There's a couple ones that I found at, uh, in Blacksburg. Paid up a little bit for this one. Super, super blues band featuring Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters, and Bo Diddley. I think this is actually a 70s release. Man, it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome album on the Checker label. And this is a British import. It's cut out of uh, Albert King, King of the Blues Guitar on Atlantic. All right, okay, and let me see here. A little shout out, Michael P. Dawson had, had a uh, video posted recently where he was talking about being evicted from his apartment. And he had asked that if anybody was interested, that he would sell uh, some of his personal albums that he had recorded. Uh, he could buy one for 15 bucks or he could get two for 20, postage included. So uh, I contacted him and I bought uh, the two for 20. And uh, this is uh, Pale Paleozoic and the Insect Garden. And these are uh, kind of electronic, ambient, very interesting uh, music. Uh, he plays all the instruments, he's got synthesizers. He plays flute, saxophone, keyboards, guitar. It's such a nice thing. And also, he sent along a little VCLT with those. This is Parcheesi Pie. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's kind of like uh, uh, Firesign Theater meets the Bonzo Dog Band produced by Frank Zappa. <laughs> I like this a lot. And this one was uh, Pictures at an Exhibition done in a jazz style, arranged and conducted by Alan Ferguson. 
And this, these were uh, these were some sweet extras. And also, he sent some CDs. He sent one of his uh, one of his CDs. Uh, this is called the Brad the Brad New Bug Concertos. Brand New Bug. He's got this thing about bugs, apparently. So, um, but cool, cool stuff. Glad to have that. And also, he sent me a Beatles bootleg CD. I guess this is the uh, Esher demos, Esher demos with some other uh, outtakes and demos from the White Album, 1968. Uh, he sent a few more things, but they're in my car I've been listening to. And next, if you remember uh, a few videos back, I was talking about my friend RT that had sent me a VCLT package. And then a month or so later, he sent me another VCLT package. Well, lo and behold, about a week or so ago, I get another package from him. And uh, full of great stuff here. This is uh, the best of Chuck Berry. This is kind of a generic one. It's got, this is a two record set. It's got uh, one record is the best of Chuck Berry and the other one is, are, uh, is uh, Songs of American Graffiti. And um, cool, this is like, look at that. This is like a, a near mint copy. Sent me a Willie Nelson LP. This was sweet too. Sons of the Pioneers, Tumbleweed Trail. I love Sons of the Pioneers. I, this makes... I think about six of their albums now. Sent me a Marty Robbins. This was sweet. So these were actually some upgrades. He sent me uh, sent me Inagata da Vida by Iron Butterfly, and this is like a a uh, I swear this is like a first press on that purple and tan Atco label. Man, I was tickled to death for this and uh, also this Quicksilver it was, uh, sent me an update of this uh, Quicksilver messenger service which uh, is sweet one of my all-time favorite albums and there's a few other things he sent in there here's Scott's drinking songs this is a uh, on the Riverside label I think it's like a looks I don't know if that's a promo Maybe it's just the White Riverside label. Scott's Drinking Songs. I haven't listened to this yet, but it looks like it's going to be cool. Some uh, Tom Jones, Live in Las Vegas. And then uh, some Dave Edmonds. Repeat when necessary. That's always cool. And hey, look here. He sent me another Stevie Ray Vaughan. Another QRP Press uh, reissue of uh, Couldn't Stand the Weather. All right, and now... The real mind blower in this package of VCL from RT was he sent me some Rakuta records. Here we got Bop Till You Drop. Awesome. Got uh, Rakuta Get Rhythm. And this is a, a promotional copy. Paradise and Lunch. Rock Cooter, the uh, slide area. Hope you can see those all right. And then this one, an original master recording MoFi copy of Chicken Skin Music. I mean, wow. Our team. Thank you. I mean, he actually sent more than this. Some of the stuff I've I've uh, stashed away. Some of it I've, I've put up for trade. But uh, that kind of uh, adds a lot to my Rakuta collection. Here are the t here are two that I had already had. This is Rakuta's first album, and this is a uh, jazz album, which was arranged and conducted by Joseph Bird. Really a cool record, and for. For those of you that may not know, most of you probably do, but uh, Safe as Milk 
the first Captain Beefheart album featured Ry Cooter playing guitar. And here's one you don't see much. It's a band called Fusion, which featured uh, Ry Cooter playing guitar on this album also. And uh, of course, you know, Ry Cooter's played in a lot of different albums as a session guy, right from the Rolling Stones to whoever, <laughs> you know. But, uh, all right. A few more things here. If Also, if you remember a video or two back, if you've watched my previous videos, I told about a uh, jazz hall that I got in Bland, Virginia. That just uh, on a random trip down there, I stopped by this uh, thrift store consignment shop on the side of the road and lo and behold, found a bunch of jazz albums. Well, at that time, you know, I had a little bit of money that I had saved up for a road trip, and I used that. Uh, the records were three for five dollars, or two bucks for one. So, of course, you know, I just quickly went through there and spent a hundred bucks. But, I had to meet a friend of mine uh, in uh, uh, Rocky Gap, Virginia today, and Rocky Gap is not far from Bland, so I thought, well, you know, I've got I've got about a, I've got a twenty dollar bill and some change. I might go back and see uh, see what else they had. So I drove back down to Bland and went to the place, the same place I went before, and went in there. And lo and behold, they had a few extra albums, and it doesn't look like anybody had been in there going through those records since I was there. Uh, maybe one person. <laughs> So I, I went through there, and you know they still had the little sign up there, three for five, two dollars for one. So I, you know, twenty bucks. So I picked about twelve of them and uh, started to check them out. And then the manager said, you know, if you want, I'll let you have any of these records for a buck a piece. And I went, okay, a buck a piece. Sure. Well, let me go back and go through there again. She said, oh, by the way. Uh, these records were from an estate sale, that they belonged to a musician that, that apparently had a pretty good record collection. And what we have on the shelves is not all. Uh, we've got about three more crates in the back room of stuff that wouldn't fit on the shelf if you want to go through it. <laughs> really? And they're all a buck a piece? Sure. Okay, so go back, spend the next... 45 minutes going through three totes and you got to remember it's like okay I don't have a hundred bucks to blow this time I've only got like twenty dollars and some change so this is what I got I opened up the first tote and this is one of the first things I saw the cooker Lee Morgan on Blue Note now like those previous ones, the uh, previous owner had to write his name across there, but hey, for a buck. And then I saw this one, Lee Morgan, the Sidewinder. Of course, it's got Frederick uh, Spicer is his name, which I don't mind, a buck. Man, I, I remember the guy after hearing that story, it's like, hey, you know, but this was, uh, it's a New York City blue note. I don't know what pressing it is. I haven't looked, but uh, for a buck, heck yeah. And then looked again and I found this. I had another copy. <laughs> All right. And, and. This, it had like a, an extra case there. It said, Japanese orange, the Sidewinder. So, uh, <laughs> and it's orange vinyl. I guess that's Japanese or Taiwan. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, 
yeah, I was I was really really happy to find that, and then I dug in a little deeper and found this Miles Davis Round About Midnight, featuring uh, Miles Davis on trumpet, John Coltrane on tenor sax, Red Garland on piano. Paul Chambers on bass and Philly Joe Jones, I believe, or Jonas. I don't, whatever. I don't have my glasses on, I'm sorry. It's got a sticker with the name, but three I and it's 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 in VG copy, but still awesome. And I found this one. It's a double LP set, Miles Davis, Circle in the Round. And then look at here, Miles Davis at Fillmore, two LP live set. But wait, there's more. <laughs> it's Miles Davis All Stars. This is on Prestige on the Prestige label. I haven't cleaned any of these yet. Bitches Brew. Water Babies. There's a uh, Friday night in Miles Davis in person at the Black Hawk in San Francisco, Volume 1. And then Saturday night, Volume 2. Buck a piece. This was a, an upgrade. I actually have a, another copy of this. This one needs clean, but the other copy I have is... Uh, Kind of a VG, VG minus. This looks, after cleaning, this should be a VG plus, other than the writing. Of course, you know, this is a pretty famous album here. Johnny Mitchell, Mingus. Billy Holiday, God Bless the Child. I think this is a comp, two, two LP set. All right, Kenny Burrell. This is another prestige. It's got a sticker on it, but that, I can get those stickers off. Kenny Burrell with Brother Jack McDuff Quartet. Crash. I love this. Doesn't that look like a, that's a beautiful cover right there. It's also a prestige. This is Betty Roche, singing and swinging. That beautiful yellow prestige label. Look at that cover, it's beautiful. Kind of got that gloss to it. This one was sweet. This was uh, uh, Perez Prado, Voodoo Sweet. I love the cover on this one too. Figured that would be nice for my Exotica collection. Voodoo sweet. <laughs> and this looked interesting. Blood, Sweat, and Brass. This is a, um, who is this guy here? The Phoenix Authority. And this is on Mainstream. Yeah, I know. I, I had I actually had some people commenting that you know, pull these albums out and they just didn't like the uh, the sound. <laughs> Big deal. These none of these had the inner sleeves, so you know they make that sound coming out. This is Jimmy Smith, Who's Afraid of Virginia Wolf? Here's another Jimmy Smith featuring. Kenny Burrell and Grady Tate. This is another Verve. Cool. 
Return to Forever, Romantic Warrior. Cool stuff. This is a, The Other Side of Abbey Road by George Benson. This is a and m Records, CTI. Mahavishnu Orchestra, uh, Inner Worlds with John McLaughlin. And finally, Erto. I think this is a CTI. CTI Records. And this one this one is uh, it says quadraphonic on it. But it looks great. I love that CTI. This has got a lot of cool people on it too. Air Toe Flora Purim. Yeah. Good stuff. So there you have it. That's uh what I <laughs> what I've been up to for the last week or so. Uh, still in the process of rearranging and moving and purging. Um, so, um, folks, peace, cheers. Thanks for watching.